Alright guys, how's it going? A new age here with our week two uh, team preparation, team building for the NPCC. And this week we are going up against the new London Zororks uh, and their coach U-Turn Crobat. If you'd like to check him out, um, the NPCC Twitter and U-Turn Crobat's channel and Twitter will both be down below in the description. But I'm going to try and make this go a bit uh, more smoothly than last time. I mean, you know, just to get better at it. Like I said, I'm not really used to doing all this. Um, but yeah, so how I have it set up, it's just like my team up here. Since it's more than six Pokemon, I have to do it in like separate uh, team builds, I guess. Uh, There's the New London Zoroark's team. They have uh, Victini, Scolipede, Vaporeon, Nidoqueen, Spiritomb, Sneasel, Megalopunny, Zapdos, Whimsicott, Flygon, and Bronzong. Uh, so this is our week one team. I'm just gonna get that out of the way uh, This is the team that I decided to bring for week two actually if, we, if you look at it from week one to week two It's basically the exact same team except I decided to switch out Sylveon for Rodham Heat um, Which and there, there, There's a few reasons. All right, so I'm gonna try and go over uh, The reasons why I brought certain Pokemon and then we'll go into the sets afterwards um so right off the bat, I want to say biggest threats to me are Victini and Mega Uh Victini because a Choice Scarf Victini can outspeed my entire team, even my Choice Scarf Pokemon. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Mega Manetric is faster than base 100, but obviously I can't make a Choice Scarf. Um, and then Mega um it speed ties with Mega Manetrix, so that really sucks. Like, his Mega is just as fast as our Mega. So, that doesn't go well, because I don't really want to try any speed tie shenanigans. Um, other than that, other threats to my team, uh, definitely kind of Zapdos. Um, I have Pokemon that are weak to electric, like Golbat and Slowbro. And then the Pokemon who would say, like, maybe wall electric types, like Ferrothorn or Trevenant, are also weak to fire and flying moves, which Zapdos does get. So that doesn't put me in the best situation. Um, let's see. Anything else that I feel super weak to? Choice Scarf Flygon. Uh, Choice Scarf Flygon, I think, could be an issue uh, just because it can outspeed my choice scarf Kyrie and then like one shot me with outrage so things like that um, I mean other than that outrage hits my team really hard other than Sylveon who is just an effect and Ferrothorn uh, otherwise no one really wants to take hits from Flygon it is pretty strong um, otherwise I don't see any like major threats he does have a lot of like bulky Pokemon with Nidoqueen and Nidoqueen Vaporeon and Bronzong and then some interesting like offensive threats like Spiritomb and Sneasel. And then obviously uh, Whimsicott um, would not be fun for like... It, it depends on the set. I know of some pretty stally sets with Whimsicott. Um, but I, I don't feel like it's too hard for my team to beat Whimsicott. Especially with the Pokemon I'm bringing. And then there's Scolipede. Which I am afraid... I'm a little afraid of him trying to set up and baton pass with it, but we, we brought stuff to take care of that. Um, so, basically, this, this is my thought process. Um, my main concern is uh, Victini. A lot of my Pokemon can't take hits from Victini. So, I really wanted to make a team more so based around that. So, um, I'll show you the spreads and stuff after this. Uh, I have Rotom. Uh, max HP and max special attack just because Victini doesn't really have anything to hit Rodham outside of maybe like Zen Headbutt but like it gets you know fire electric some psychic moves uh, like I guess focus blast um, and then like grass moves so Rodham I feel is a really good uh, wall to Victini especially if it's a special Victini um, and then I can hit it back pretty hard. That's why I put max HP, max uh, special attack. So I could be bulky but still hit hard because things like Discharge uh, can two hit KO him, especially after like Stealth Rocks and stuff. And that's another Pokemon uh, I wanted to bring. Uh, I'll just bring it under this screen so you can see it better. I wanted to bring Rhydon uh, just because 
I wanted a Pokemon that could set up rocks, also that could take hits from Victini and hit it back pretty hard. Um, I'm sorry, I keep switching. I just like this because I can look at his entire team while looking at my team. Um, so that was mainly for that. I also brought Slowbro and Golbat. Uh, both of those kind of for Mega Lopunny. I'm not too afraid of Mega Lopunny. Uh, Slowbro was a kind of Victini check, but I figured it wouldn't happen just because if he brings uh, the electric move, then I'm kind of screwed. Uh, but I know Slowbro could take one hit from him at least. Uh, I more so want Slowbro for things like Needle Queen uh, a little bit. Uh, more so for Flygon to try and like burn it or things like that. Um, it could also help me out a little bit against Weavile and a little bit against Scolipede. Uh, Golbat was my main counter for Megalopony. Um, basically, Megalopony can't touch this. Even like Return does like 33% max, but I can one shot uh, Megalopony with the Brave Bird from Golbat. Uh, so that was why I brought that. Also a Defogger. Also it's good for things like Whimsicott um, and Scolipede because Scolipede normally runs like Earthquake, uh, Mega Horn, Poison Jab. None of that can touch Golbat. So that puts me in a really good spot for that. Um, it will be hard for me to beat things like Flygon or Sneasel with Golbat, but that's not really uh, what I have it there for. And then uh, I did decide to bring Kyrim. His entire team is weak to Kyrie, like big time. Um, the only one who's really not is Victini, um, but with Outrage, I can hit Victini pretty hard. But basically, we got, uh, I don't know, I guess like whatever I don't hit him super effective with, Outrage hits him really hard. So Scolipede uh, gets hit super hard by Outrage, and then we have um, Fusion Bolt, Ice Beam, I mean, Ice Beam, Outrage, whatever. Uh, Fusion Bolt hits this hard. Outrage, I'm pretty sure one shots Mega Lopunny, um, which I'll show you the set for that later. Uh, Zapdos doesn't appreciate Ice Beam. Zapdos, I think, is one of the more bulky ones that we can't just one shot, but also Zapdos can't do anything back to us with like Electric, Flying Fire, or even like HPIs. Uh, Whimsicott um, is a bit iffy, but it does it does die to Ice Beam. It's just like Prankster, like Spore, or not Spore, uh, Stun Spore, things like that. I wouldn't want it to just paralyze my Kyrene before it goes down, so I'll have to watch out for that if he brings that. Um, and then Flygon is another iffy one, uh, because Troy Scar Flygon does outspeed me, but it does die to Ice Beam or Outrage. And then for Bronzong, we have Earth Power for things like that. Um, so, and then Mega Manetric, uh, just because... Honestly, I don't feel like he would bring Vaporeon, but if he does, I want something for it, because otherwise my team is pretty weak to Vaporeon. Um, and Minetric, with its like ice, fire, and electric coverage, hits a lot of stuff. You know, you got fire, electric, ice, I mean, electric, electric, you know, these Pokemon are extremely strong, um, so they definitely won't take the hits well. Uh, Zapdos, Minetric will be a decent uh, check to that. Uh, we obviously have like Flamethrower Overheat for Whimsicott, I Hidden Power Ice for Flygon, and then uh, Flamethrower or Overheat for Bronzong. And then it's just these two. I mean, I can hit Victini pretty decently hard with an electric move, but it can one-shot me after. Uh, Low Punny is kind of the same deal. Um, if not one-shot me, do a lot of damage. Uh, so now we'll go over like the specific spreads and stuff. Uh, Rodham, like I said, max HP, max special attack. I just wanted it bulky. Um, also, um, I'll go straight to this set, I guess, because you'll notice some of my other sets. I did decide to put Trick Room. I'll start with Slowbro. I did decide to put Trick Room on the team because if I can manage to get Trick Room off against like a Low Punny or something, uh, that'll be really nice because Low Punny can't one shot me with anything. So I can for sure get off a of Trick Room and then Scald trying to burn it maybe or ice beam it just helps me outspeed certain things that like like i said flygon gets one shot by ice beam so uh, i feel trick room will be really nice because this team is pretty fast it also kind of helps me with victini uh say for example if i get off a of trick room and then i get to hit him with like ride on and just kind of one shot him or something first uh depending on the set he brings 
uh, there's a huge difference in damage between Choice Scarf and uh, Choice Band. Like a Choice Banded Victini can one-shot Kyrim. Uh, so that's really sketchy. Uh, but then again, if he's Choice Banded, we outspeed him so we can get some damage off on him first, at least. Uh, and then I brought Toxic on the Slowbro, uh, just for in case I get the chance to Toxic Vaporeon if he brings that. I just didn't... I'm kind of scared of getting walled by Va uh, Vaporeon, even though I have Manetric. You know, just another opportunity for it. Uh, so we went max HP, max defense, a little special attack. Um, just to have that uneven number, or that odd number for rocks and all that. Um, so that's why I decided to bring Slowbro. I know it could like easily set up Trick Room against Slowpony, and that would be really nice. Um, so now let's go back to Rodham. Uh, this is more for... Um, this is for, like I said, Victini, but it could help with some other things. I actually decided to give it Will-O-Wisp, so it doesn't actually have a fire move. Um, but I wanted to be able to come in on things like Zapdos or Victini, um, and also have HP Ice in case I think he's going to switch into like Flygon or Nidoqueen. I can go for the HP Ice and hit him with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure HP Ice one-shots um, Flygon, if since I'm modest. Uh, also, like I said, Trick Room I have on Slowbro, but, you know, normally that would mean you would give them negative speed nature and zero IVs and all that good stuff for speed. Uh, I decided not to in this case, uh, just because, um, just because of Victini, because honestly, V-Create still does so much to Rodham Heat, um, even though I like resist it and everything, um, but I ran like the numbers and stuff and basically after a V create since it does decrease the speed um, My Rodham will be able to outspeed a uh, Victini after it uses V create once uh, So I can hit him with the discharge once that does about like 40 to 50 percent um, And then I can outspeed him the next turn and hit him with another discharge and then if he came in on rocks Then that's a dead Victini so not saying that he has to go for um, V create, but that honestly might be a strongest move to hit me if he does decide to stay in, or um, if he's like choice, if he's like choice banded. If he's choice scarf, I don't think he can do as much to me. Like I said, there's a huge difference in damage. Uh, so next up, I wanted to bring the Evo Light right on. Um, the set I decided to do was like max HP, uh, almost max defense, and then some attack. Just because I wanted to be bulky for things like Mega Low Punny and all that. Um, I decided I didn't need too much coverage. Uh, he has a lot of immunities to Earthquake. Like Levitate and stuff. And, you know, things that I could hit with Earthquake that are weak to ground are also weak to ice. So things like, uh, things like Needle Queen, really. And then Flygon since it has Levitate. Um, I also put Stealth Rock on it because obviously we need Rocks and Roar. Um... Like I said, I don't want Skolipi to set up on me, and if that is like a beginning of the game kind of deal, where he likes, he wants to try and lead with that and sweep right away, I can just roar it out and it'll be just fine. And then I decided just Ice Punch and Stone Edge was good enough coverage. Uh, Stone Edge is good for Zapdos and Victini, and hits them really hard. Granted, you know, sure, I'll risk the miss, but hey, it'll be worth it if we hit it. So uh, we already went over these three. Here we have Golbat. Um... I don't really think there's too many important calcs I need to show you guys, other than maybe, well, I don't know, you guys could just take my word for it. I have the calc open if I need it, but I don't, I don't feel like I do, because I just know the numbers, so I could like explain it to you guys. Uh, but we got Golbat with the Evo Light as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not, but I am really scared of being swept. Uh, so I have Brave Bird, Whirlwind, Roost, and Defog. Uh, so I have Whirlwind over um, Super Fang, which makes me a little nervous because I don't really have anything to hit Bronzong other than Kyrim and Manetric. But Kyrim is sketchy because Earth Power doesn't one-shot it because I'm not uh, a special variant. And Manetric, I think, well, Manetric would be my best bet against Bronzong. Um, but I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get that opportunity, you know. Uh, just having more things for Bronzong would be nice, but like I said, I'm afraid of getting swept. Which, honestly, I don't know now. Super Fang might be better just because, uh... 
Just because if he does try and set up with Skullipede, I mean, I have Brave Bird for that, so I can hit it pretty hard. But either way, we have a Ruse Defog, we have max HP, max defense to take those hits from Low Pony, and Brave Bird, even uh, not having max attack, will still one shot Mega Low Pony. I'm pretty sure. Here. I am gonna actually calc that to show you guys. Oh wow. Didn't mean to do all that. I don't know if there was anything important on there. Alright. So let's see. So we got Golbat versus Mega Low Punny. We'll just assume it's like an all out attacker for now. So yeah, Brave Bird does 94 to 111. Um, so it has a good chance to one shot, especially if rocks come up. If it comes in on rocks, even better of a chance. And then here's the counts for Mega Low Punny. The most it can do to me is 39% with the return. That is a lot, but like I said, with the amount we're doing with Brave Bird, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, I felt like this was one of the best sets for Mega Um, also, uh, I didn't point this out, but Rhydon and Golbat both have, like, min speed and all that. Just because I don't necessarily need Golbat to outspeed anything. Um, like, the things that do outspeed me, there's no way I can outspeed them either way. Uh, so it, it kind of didn't matter. Um, and then also we could take hits as well. So then we have Kyrium here. I decided to go with Choice Scarf uh, Just because even though his Choice Scarfers do outspeed mine. I wanted to give it Choice Scarf because with the amount of uh, Speed I put in it along with Adam and Nature um, Choice Scarf this set of Kyrium will outspeed Mega Low Pony and be able to one-shot it with the uh, Damn it. I keep doing that. We'll be able to one-shot it with the uh, Outrage, and I can show you guys the calc for that one as well. Um, so I put it with like just enough speed. So this Jolly Max Speed, um, low punny, and we're at 138. Uh, but with the Choice Scarf, it's times 1.5, so I believe it goes up to like uh, 207 speed. Uh, so we do outspeed it, and obviously he kills us with high jump kick, but here we go, the Outrage right there. We will be able to outspeed Low Pony and one-shot it with Outrage. Uh, we'll take some damage from Fake Out for sure, but like I said, we do outspeed this thing. Um, and Adamant, uh, oh my gosh, I keep doing it. Adamant, Kyrium, just with Bolt Strike and Outrage on its own, do so much damage. And even like, we don't even need... Uh, Special attack investment. Ice Beam still one shots Flygon. Uh, granted, like I said, it's faster, so um, that's not even like a proper set, but like, well, what I think it would bring. Um, so Outrage actually does not 100% uh, KO us while we do, but I, I mean, you know, I'm obviously not going to try and stay in on a Flygon. Uh, that's why I brought things like Ride On. Um, I don't know if you want to see that as well. Right on to Ice Punch does one shot a uh, a Flygon, so I felt like that was good enough coverage. So yeah, there's the set right there. Ice Punch does 121. Even with I don't even need the 16 attack investment. That's just to hit some things a little bit harder, like Big Teeny. Um, so yeah, that that's Kyrie's purpose right there is just to be able to take out. Um, low punny and if i get the chance depending on what set he brings with victini um because i'll show you that right now as well just like how much damage victini does is ridiculous uh so choice banded victini level 50 v create one shots us um and we can't hit him with much but outrage does do a lot of damage Especially with rocks up uh, rocks will do 25% to him So if we do get him on the rocks outrage will one shot him But this is a choice banded set meaning if that's the set he brings we do have speed him and take him out with outrage plus the rocks if he's um, Choice scarfed the difference is like huge I don't know like this is adamant choice scarf and then people normally run jolly with the choice scarf I think so that's even less damage um so the difference in set is huge, but we can hit him pretty hard with Outrage. That's why I decided to go with the uh, Adamant, like, max attack Kyrium, just to be able to hit these things as hard as possible. Also, like, 
uh, Vaporeon with um, Bold Strike. Like I said, I really didn't want to get walled by that. So that does, I mean, it, it doesn't guarantee one shot him, but it does too much damage for Vaporeon to be able to like stay in and stuff against this thing. Uh, so last we have Manetric. I went with the standard Manetric. I had to go Timid Max Speed because if he brought Jolly Max Speed Mega Low Punny, I needed to at least have a chance to speed tie with him. Um, as unfortunate as that is, and then just max special attack, you know. Uh, the special defense, it doesn't matter. I just needed to put him somewhere, not in HP. Um, so I decided Flamethrower just because I didn't want the special attack drop, and it's still like two shots uh, all the Pokemon, or one shots the ones that are weak to fire. So it hits really hard. Thunderbolt, just to have a move so I don't have to switch out every time. Um, and Volt Switch I felt was nice just because if I get to catch the Victini on the Switch, I'll do more damage, putting it even closer to like KO range for even things like my Rodom to hit it with Discharge. And then HP Ice obviously for like Flygon and Needle Queen, things like that. Um, so that's basically uh, the, the layout for this team. A lot of it's pretty simple, nothing too complicated this week like how we had last week, nothing like too crazy or fancy. Um, I'm really nervous for this one, you guys. I really don't know. Like, I prepped as much as I could, I think, for Victini. But that thing just, like, tears a hole in my team, especially if he plays it well. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Also, like, low punny with, like, fake out shenanigans could, like, weaken our team. Because fake out's still going to do a decent chunk to, like, anything. So that's going to be annoying to deal with, like, switching it out and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the team prep. So wish us luck in our second battle. Um, comment down below, maybe if there's things you guys, um, would suggest doing differently or what Pokemon you think he's going to bring. Um, I'm expecting like Victini, Megalopunny, Bronzong, Flygon, uh... Hmm. I really don't feel like he'll bring Whimsicott or Vaporeon, honestly. Um, Scolipede, if I feel like he's gonna try and sweep. Um, I guess he could bring Zapdos? I don't... I mean, I know Zapdos is good against some of my stuff, but the stuff that takes it on is really good against it. Um, so I don't really know, especially to, like, Spiritomb, and I do feel like he'll bring Sneasel, just because it can hit, like, Rhydon, Slowbro, Golbat, I mean, Ferrothorn with, like, Low Kick, Trevenant, uh, Low Kick with Umbreon. It can hit a lot of my teams. So, uh, what I say? Like, Victini, Low Punny, Bronzong, Flygon, Sneasel. And I don't know what his last one is. Maybe Scolipede, maybe Zapdos, maybe Nidoqueen. I don't know. If he's really, like, afraid of Sylveon or something like that. But, yeah, guys, wish us luck. And until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I will see you guys on Saturday with our NPCC week two battle. Later you guys.